In this video, I want to go over how to create a video using stock footage. Now, first of all, you want to head over to this website called Storyblocks. Um, that's a website where I get all of my stock footage. And then you want to head over to plans and pricing. So here are the different like prices you can get um, for stock footage. Um, you could do an annual plan. I actually, I believe I did this one. Yeah, I did this one. So I actually got rid of the annual and I just paid $40 a month. So this is a plan that I used. Um, it's unlimited videos, um, HD and 4K footage. You could do this one and kind of just start it out and see if you um, like it, but only five downloads per month of HD footage. Uh, that's not even remotely worth it. So yeah, it depends on if you want to do the monthly plan or the annual plan. This is the plan that I ended up doing. Now what you want to do is you want to basically create an account. So I'll go ahead and log in right here and you want to just create your own account. Obviously not going to show you my email or password, but there you go. You basically what you need to create an account and pick a plan. Um, so basically you have your own account and then you want to go over here to videos, audio images or whatever. You can head over to videos right here. And then here is the massive library of stock footage. As you can see, continue searching for Times Square, New York. So you can go up here and literally just type in time uh, square. See that? brings us to where we want to go so as you can see literally you just type up whatever you want you can go through the settings and adjust it um accordingly so there you go you literally just type up what you want and um i believe i use this clip i can't remember if i use this clip or not but let's just say for some reason you want to put you want to have a stock footage of times square go ahead and click on the clip and as you can see right here here are your different options. You could do 4K MOV, um, 4K MP4, H.264. It just depends on which codec and resolution um, you want. I go for um, HD uh, H.264. I could do 4K, but I would just downsize it back to 1080. Um, it may actually be like slightly higher quality if you download 4K and then down res it to HD um, in Final Cut Pro. But there we go right here. Then you want to go over here. Once you select the right format, click on download right here. And uh, I'll go, maybe I'll get out a full screen right here so you can make sure it downloads. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and click on here, and there you go. The stock footage is now downloaded. So let's go ahead and also before I show my timeline, I didn't actually use the audio from um, Storyblocks. I actually used all of my audio from Epidemic um, sound. So let's go ahead and click it out. We just downloaded the clip. So let's head over to finders, go to download, and there you go. Here's the clip um, right here. And I'll show you right here, stock footage tutorial, kind of breaking the fourth wall. But anyways, um, here is the stock footage right here. And there you go. Here's all the stock footage. I downloaded it off of Storyblocks, all H.264 at 1080p, renamed it and everything like that. So that's all the stock footage is. Head over to Final Cut Pro. And here is the BTS the timeline for my YouTube video. Here is the Instagram version. And let's head over to the YouTube version right here. Um, as you can see right here, there you go. Here is all of the stock footage and all the sound effects. And this is the music, the name of the sound effects and everything like that is from Epidemic Sound. So there you go. That's how you use stock footage in your own YouTube videos. Go to Storyblock. You want to um, pick the appropriate plan, create an account, and download it. And just depends on what resolution and what frame rate and everything like that. Codec, it all depends on you. And you choose the one that is appropriate for your video. But basically, I just want to make this video giving you an idea of what uh, stock footage actually is. So basically, stock footage is clips that I actually did not shoot somebody else shot that clips and I'm not exactly sure the technical process of kind of how it happened but they uploaded to Storyblocks or they I'm not quite sure how that worked but they sent it to Storyblocks as long as you have a subscription and a plan you can now use that footage so this footage was not shot by me this footage was shot by somebody different so that's what stock footage is as long as it's like uh, music or anything like that you need a license or else as you, you probably already saw there's like a story blocks uh, watermark right here so don't even try to get around uh, copywriting it or like screen recording it that's just not going to work but there you go that's basically stock footage off from story blocks and basically want to give you an idea of what stock footage is and how you can actually create your own video 
Um, there's a whole bunch of different uses for stock footage, but I kind of want to challenge myself to literally make my own like short film of like a 60 second clip, a 60 second vi video uh, in New York, in York City. So definitely go ahead and take this challenge on. Go ahead and try to literally make a story or a short little cinematic video out of just stock footage. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video. And just to make it clear, Storyblocks is not sponsoring me. There's nobody giving me a uh, paper motion or anything like that. No one's sponsoring me for this video. I wanted to try Storyblocks out for the first time. I did absolutely enjoy. Definitely encourage you to try Storyblocks out for yourself. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful and informative. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. See you guys on the next one. Peace.